Hi, my name is Tammy Wallach, and I've been asked to share in the monthly Chamber Talk. I want to give you guys a little brief history about myself. I was born in Rapid City, South Dakota, and at the age of 18, I moved to Boca Raton, Florida to be a nanny. At the age of 19, I got married, and at the age of 20, we started our first company, which was a tile installation company in the Fort Lauderdale area. At the age of 26, we moved to Columbus, and I got my real estate license. My first property that I purchased was a cockroach-infested duplex in Hilltop. It was ugly, but it was mine, and it was all I could afford, so I was grateful. A year later, my husband passed away, and a year after that, I met and married my current husband, Brian. We continued this real estate journey by renovating over 100 homes, and at one time we owned over 50 rental properties. We sold most of our real estate off in 2007, shortly before the market crashed, and we purchased Upper Lansdowne Golf Course in Asheville. After seven years of that, we sold it, and we moved to Canal Winchester, and we opened Heaven Sent Children's Academy. That was 11 years ago, and we quickly grew from 15 children to over 200 children and 35 teachers. We also opened a construction company, which we closed several years later, and we owned Anytime Fitness in Canal for a short time as well. Four years ago, we opened the Olive Branch Coffee and Pizzeria, and just last month, we purchased Westchester Golf Course. So as you can see, we've done a lot of different things and we've been in business for a long time. As everyone knows, 2020 was a very challenging year for business. After 20 years of being in business, I have faced challenges that I never imagined. Here are three core things that I've learned from the last year that I wanna share with you. Firstly, there's obviously no such thing as normal. Although flexibility has always been an important attribute in business, it's never been more important than now. We have to be prepared to change our expectations of what we think things should look like. Your income most likely was affected in this last year, and maybe you had to find creative ways to boost your income. Customers have different expectations as well. Cleaning and sanitizing practices have become just as important as quality and customer service to some people. Secondly, patience is obviously required. This year has been tough on everyone. Not only have we had to deal with COVID, but we've had a lot of civil unrest and a huge presidential election, which has left a lot of people feeling anxious and out of control of their circumstances. You've probably seen things from customers and coworkers that you're not used to seeing. It's important to remember what people are going through and just be prepared to take a step back if necessary. We went through a period of time at our child care center where we were basically in survival mode. We had to close down several classrooms because we just couldn't find enough teachers. We are just now getting to a place where we feel like we can rebuild. Thirdly, it's important to find joy in the journey. I find myself being much more appreciative of the small things these days and also of my team. Instead of focusing on their weaknesses, I've made a huge effort to appreciate their strong points and find a way as a team to work together more effectively. I've also made a conscious effort to maintain a sense of humor in the midst of the madness. When you have teachers constantly calling off because they have to quarantine and all the other normal stresses of business, you have a choice to either laugh or cry. Either way, it doesn't change the circumstances, so you might as well laugh. And when your team sees you smiling, it will make it much easier for them to put things in perspective and smile with you. If you can't change it, then you might as well just enjoy the ride. Thank you.